Welcome to your new Sense Hub monitoring system. In this video, we will guide you through installing your Sense Hub system. At any time throughout installation, members of the AllFlex Solutions and support team are standing by to assist you. Before we get started, let's review the system hardware. At the Sense Hub controller location, here are the components required Sense Hub controller, nano station, socket box, a 55 volt Sense Hub power supply. A 24 volt power supply for the nano station, three Ethernet cables, and a mounting pole. When you receive your Sense Hub system, the nano station and Sense Hub controller bracket will already be attached to the mounting pole. At the computer location, here are the components required a nano access point and the 24 volt power supply, along with the computer, router, and two Ethernet cables. First, you will set up the nano access point to provide an internet signal to the Sense Hub controller location. To begin, plug the 24 volt power supply of the nano access point into a 110 volt outlet plug and verify power. Once you see the LED light on, plug one of the ethernet cables into the pole port of the power supply and the nano access point. The access point will turn on. Next. Plug the second Ethernet cable into the LAN port of the power supply and any available Ethernet port in the router. Do not plug the LAN port into the Ethernet input. Now, position the nano access point so it is facing the location of the SenseHub controller. The better the line of sight to the SenseHub controller location, the better the signal strength will be. Choose a location for the computer. Plug the computer power supply into the computer and the wall. Once the computer is on, establish an internet connection. The computer must be on the same internet network as the SenseHub controller in order to use the web-based application locally. Second, you will choose a location for the SenseHub controller. Remember, the controller will read approximately 1,300 feet or 400 meters in front and 330 feet or 100 meters on the sides and back. Some helpful tips in deciding the controller location are to avoid metal, avoid trees, and if possible, avoid walls. Before installing the controller and nano station, you will run a signal test to make sure the nanos can connect. Determine a good location for the SenseHub controller and find the closest 110 volt power outlet and verify there is power. Once you see the LED light come on, plug an Ethernet cable into the nano station and the POS side of the switch. Point the nano station toward the nano access point. It will take approximately one minute for the nanos to establish a connection. Once they are connected, you will see signal lights appear. Anything at or above orange and red is acceptable signal strength. So two, three, or four bars of signal strength are acceptable. After power and internet signals have been tested and confirmed, you are ready to begin installation. The power supplies will be housed inside the socket box, which provides a safe, secure, and dry place for the power supply. Using the two screws provided, mount the socket box close enough to the power outlet so the power cords can reach without stretching. Make sure to mount the socket box so the cord divots are facing the ground. This will prevent any possible condensation from rain or snow from going into the socket box. Keep in mind, the socket box is usually mounted in a place where cows are. Be sure it's located in an area where cows can't lick, bite, or scratch their head on the socket box. Once the socket box is mounted, plug the 55 volt power supply and the 24 volt power supply into the outlet and place it inside. You are now ready to mount the controller and nano station. Using four screws provided, secure the pole mount no less than six feet off the ground. Plug one end of the ethernet cable into the PD port of the SenseHub controller and the other end into the data and power port of the SenseHub 55 volt power supply. Plug the second ethernet cable into the main port of the nano station and the pole port of the 24 volt Ubiquiti power supply. Use a short Ethernet cable to connect the LAN side of the 24 volt power supply and the data port of the 55 volt power supply. Point the nano station towards the nano access point. Point the controller towards the area where cows are going to be monitored. 
Now, use coax clamps and zip ties provided to secure the wires. After this is done, secure the lid on the socket box. Return to the computer location and be sure it is still connected to internet and start TeamViewer. Once all of these steps are completed, contact Allflex Livestock Intelligence Technical Support Team to complete registration of your new SenseHub monitoring system.